Hello there, and welcome to Prison Architect, Obsidian Penitentiary, Episode 5. So before we get started on actually building, we're going to make the one little alteration here. I did ask before, do you like the buffered version or the non-buffered? I said this is a bit cleaner, this is a bit more stylized, and the comment says, we prefer buffered. So buffered it will be concrete tiles down there. There we go, one little buffered area, perfect. Alright, so that's the canteen done. Uh, we don't need, we don't have anything like sprinklers or anything there, but we don't really need them. Not yet, anyway. So we can ignore those. Kitchen is up and running. Excellent. Does look nice, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, so the kitchen's up and running. Uh, we'll need upgrading at some point, but not just yet. We should be fine for a long while yet. Um, so today we're going to build the first of the cell blocks. This one here, I believe it will be. And the shower block. And we might get one of the, um, one of the main two buildings up and running. The, uh, the, the laundry. And then, because we've got library and laundry with LU. Well, we'll get the, basically get the mini testers done, and then, then we can actually open this place up to prisoners, because right now, if we opened it up, there's no one for them to stay. Ah. Also, notice that we don't actually have a holding room. Hmm, that could be a problem for us. Anyway, let's uh, take a look and get building this new cell block. So, first of all, foundations. Uh, concrete, because this is actually the cell block. We'll start at the top, just there. Do a little bit there. We have the money to do the whole thing in one big go, so we are going to do that in one big go. So there. This is something we don't actually normally go this big in a cell block build, but we have the money for it, so uh, let's try it. Let's do all of the little wings of the building, and then we will be completely done. There we go. Building complete, and we do need the shower block, so let's build that at the same time, and we can get all the styling done when we're ready for it. Uh, I won't build any other sort of structure just yet. We'll get that one done first. And they're already starting it anyway. And while they're doing that, let's go to full speed. While they're doing that, let's get these uh, stone paths in place. So I want the stone paths to come down the middle. And we've got two choices. I can either go four wide and have an edge. Or I can go two wide and have the edge with grass around the edge. And I kind of like the idea of the grass around the edge. So provisionally, until let's, unless we change it, it'll be two wide all the way down to there. And then it'll be a 90 degree turn going that way. To there and then down that way to there and then up that way to there and for now I'm going to stop there it definitely goes into this area here I don't need to go around the outside just yet but let's do the other side as well okay uh, it'll be there down to there then to that way to there we might probably expand these to make them three wide but three wide is a bit more complicated which is my preferred method normally but yeah, let's do these. I, I wasn't going to do it, but let's do it anyway because we can and we have the money for it, so there's no reason not to. Well, there's probably a reason not to, but no, we won't. There we go. Right, so that's that bit there done. Um, we've got some cash flow coming in and stuff. We're not sure. Oh, uh, the research got done. Some research got done. Excellent. Now, here, this is where we're going to. Hello, guys. Here's what we're going to do. This area here needs to be uh, done, and this is just going to be a straightforward stone all across here. There's not going to be any like styling in this area. It doesn't need it for where it's going to be. So, up to there, up to there. Go, go on, guys. Uh, and then when they're done, I'm going to break out there and do, 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 do. And then do, 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 do. Probably change that up a little bit. But I'm just going to get the corner pieces in so that we can actually stylize this area. There we go. And there we go. And then do, 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 do. And do, 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 do. And then down this bottom corner, probably do the same. Yeah, it's the same. To there, to there. And then do, 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 do. Cancel that one. Do. And do, 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 do. So the actual do, 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 do. So those are angles to make it look nicer. Rather than being a straight edge, it'll actually have an angleized corner piece. There we go. Alright, so they don't look like anything's actually happened yet, because really nothing has happened yet. Uh, the shower block doors, because they won't be sharing top and bottom, they'll only be sharing from this area, it makes sense that the doors will actually be in the corner. So you'll have two doors, normal doors, normal, normal, normal. Place one there, going up, and then one there, I believe that's going right. Let's get those guys in, confirm. One should go up, and one should go to the right. And up. And... To the left. Damn it, I got the wrong way around. Uh, dismantle the door. And then put me another door in the right way around. It's because I rotated it. Yes, it's because I rotated it. Uh, okay. So. Double rotate. Put it back in again. And this time, it should go the right way. Okay, now we know the doors here. These will be jail doors. But I think we can, you can't put double jail doors in because it will slide into the corridor or it will slide on the outside. I don't want to put them in these side pieces. Yet. I actually want them into this main room. Although, and I might need to go to you guys. 
I can put single doors here and here, wherever we choose to have them. And then people can enter into these rooms and go up into the proper place. Or we can put double doors here, or single doors here, and then they can go up into their cells or down to a common room, which will be here. This will be the common room anyway. It might be more beneficial to have the doors as side pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a couple of doors and see what you guys think. So they're here. We can have a big door there that will go up into the uh, prison. But I think it's best come down because it'll go up to there. We don't really need double doors, though. That's the thing. Although, I, uh, double door or single door? Double door or single door? Okay, here's the question. Do I put double door or single door? Or do I put them on this side piece here? So I'm going to put in three doors. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to put four doors. Put one there. Um, actually, can I put it there? Flip, flip. Yes, I can. Flip it back. You want it to go up. And then down, there we go. Alright, so I'm, I'm doing these doors in three different styles just so you can see it. Thank you. Build the place. The whole building. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta zone around, mate. Go, go around. Go, go around. Go. Yeah, that'll work. Not that door there at all. Right, so these guys are gonna put the doors in. There we go. Okay, so here's the three styles. I'm gonna pause it. Here are the three styles. A double door sits like that, which I'm not overly fond of actually. Because it sort of sits, it looks lopsided. A single door there, which I'm kind of leaning towards that. Or, so we have a single door there, 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 and a single door there. Or, we need to put the single doors like this, and that one's the wrong way around. Remove that door. Remove it. Remove it. And it needs to be removed, or you can't see it. And we'll pause it so they don't run away with the box. And I say, flip, flip, install the door. Full speed. And there we go. So those are our choice of doors. I'll let you guys pick in the comments. Let me know, please. Do you prefer the single door at the junction points, double door at the junction point, or the single doors at these areas here? Another option, actually, is a... I don't really like the idea of it, personally, because it's going to be weird. I have to make sure I don't do that. But a double door there, and a single door there. So it's like three wide. This is a possibility as well, so let me show you it first of all. There we go, and then that one. There we go. So what we've got, let me just put that there. So we have the single door in the in the junction, um, double door in the junction, single doors in the in the common room, or a triple door on the on the junction. Because this will be a part of the cell, so that wall won't be exposed. Let me know what you think on the on the junction types. So since we don't actually know what we're going to be doing junction types, we can ignore them and start working on the dealer stuff. Okay. So, first thing we'll be doing is getting on with our prison. Let's do... Uh, let's get some light bulbs in, first of all. And I want light bulbs at every wall. At every junction piece, because I really like my light bulbs. And I know I can go with less than that. And I always have done in the past. But I want to make this place extra specially well lit. Because it's going to be the maximum security prison, don't forget. Where we're going to have potential uh, major crims. Is two there? Yes, yeah, so we'll put one there. And then one there. So that right around the very edge of the actual uh, common room. Boom, ba -doom, boom. And then this one is doing as well, because I forgot about that you entirely. There we go. And do there. And then the final one there. And this main room will have a central light bulb, because it actually doesn't need an off center one. It doesn't have an off center light bulb. <laughs> you have no idea how happy that makes me feel. All right. Second thing if we do go with doors here, then we have to put all the stuff in the middle. If we go with doors on the junctions, I can put seats and stuff around the edges here. So it gives a bit more flexibility in what we can put where. So, uh, let me know what you think on the doors. Def definitely want to know what you guys are thinking on the doors. Okay, power cables. Get those light bulbs off and running. Um, we already have that power cable coming down there. And that's going to put the power on this. So we could run it down into these. It makes sense. But I want to kind of bring it from somewhere else. No, no, we'll bring it from here. It makes a lot of sense to bring it in from here. Um, because that would just look weird. Bring it down to the top makes sense. But if we have everything on this one trunk line... That would make great sense of it, all the cells come up with. Okay, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be kind of weird if I want to zigzag this in. So, don't you... Hang on a minute. Water pipe's on top? No, nope, power's on top this time. Ah, got to be careful with that design, you see. Uh, so, I want you to go to there. And then down to there. And it's only temporary power cable. But if it was permanent, um, we'd have to go by redirecting through here where the door's going to be. I'll let you guys choose where the door's going to be, you see. Remember? Remember, 
Should do. It's not even the 5th of November. Uh, so there. And down. No, 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 no. Don't. You always put Pokeballs in the very centre. Pokeball goes on the top. You can use your brain. And it also goes on the left. So to there. So Pokeballs. Cancel that. I was actually right. We'll put the power cable into the center, and the hot water pipe can ride on the very top, and the main water pipe can ride on the bottom. Ah, okay. That will actually work quite nicely with my uh, design plan. Uh, there we go. So there, and that will work fine. Okay, big pipe for the cell block then. We'll run down to there, to there, across to there, and then down to there. Stop there for a moment. I need to know how far these pipes will travel, so we'll do some smaller pipes first. Smaller pipes. Right, so I don't want a wall there. I want a wall there, door. Door. Wall, wall, door, door. Damn it, I can't, I can't envision the doors. There'll be door there, so there'll be another door there. Then there'll be T junction, door, door, T junction, door. Don't let the door on the very end. So, this layer actually depends upon how these are going to, the doors are going to work. If you have double door, I can't put the thing there. Okay, so. I was going to go with a standard sort of cell design where I actually don't normally do. Where we have the other things. Uh, so the wall's going to be there. Uh, I want the door there, sorry. So the toilet will be there, you see. So the toilet will be there. Boom. Toilet will be there. Toilet there. That means the door will have to be there. And there. Oh, cancel. I always forget about the T junction ones. Uh, you have to go that way because that's not a T junction. But, uh, I can actually take you through the wall then, couldn't I? Like a T-junction would do. Yes. Ah. Okay. Do it properly. There we go. T-junctions go in the right place, not the upside down place. There we go. And you can actually go into a wall then. You don't need the other way around. Ah. All right. Big pipes go to the bottom. So five across the bottom. There you go. And you'll go down to them. Down to them. Down to them. And that's the piping there done. So at this side we'll do this exactly the same. Uh, T-junction is the one on the end there. To there. And there, to there. I know I can clone the buildings. I still can't clone the uh, the plumbing, unfortunately, which is still a little bit annoying. But there you go. And then pipes on the bottom. We can try and go all the way across and see if it will make it. I don't think it will make it that far. I may need to terminate the big pipe somewhere in the centre. So let them do that first before we start um, doing the other ones. And we'll see how far we can go with a big pipe. Big pipe can come down to there as a test run. It can always be removed if it needs to be removed. And we'll, f we'll figure out how far we're going to get down this server. I don't think it's going to go to the end of here. And if it doesn't go to the end of there, then that's a that's not a problem. It's just something we have to deal with. It means I probably have to bring a bigger pipe to here and blink it in. It's just kind of like in the idea of having two big pipes feeding one area, but it also has to go up these as well. So there we go. We'll get these guys installing the pipe. Come on, guys. Um, that's actually the most important pipe there to see if we can get it to the end. So I'll just put a priority on that order just to get those pipes on faster. And as you can see, they're ignoring that order entirely. There we go. Ooh, does it actually make it to the end? It does. Ooh. Okay, it makes it to the end, which means we get a chance to try and send these pipes to the top. I don't think they'll make it to the top, but if we can, it has to make it that far. That's as far as it needs to make it, but if we can make it that far, then it'll be, it'll be golden. It'll be done. Because that is the, that's the longest piece of pipe it's going to have to do. Because that down there is the same length. So if you can do that, guys. Oh, you can just run away and not doing it. There we go. I wonder where they were for a second then. They in the time, weren't they? Here they go. Boom, 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 boom. How far will it go? Cash flow, four dollars. Okay. And to the end. Yes. Okay. We don't have to worry about pipe. That will be enough. So I can run that one down there. Put the T junction there. Put the T junction there. And then you go up and across and down one. T junction there. T junction there. Pipe across. Pipe across. That's your plumbing done. And then here we can go T junction there, T junction there. You go down and across and across. And then all those plumbings there are done. Excellent. Okay. That's the two major pieces of plumbing done. Then we need to look at the water bottle. Now we chose the water bottle on the outside. Now the thing is, remember we said about these doors? If I put the water bottle there, then I can't have a triple door here. Which is fine, I can have a triple I can have that there, and have the triple door there, triple door there, and like the walls are awesome. I can figure it out later, but I know we're gonna have a water boiler there and a water boiler there. So let me know what doors you prefer and I will figure out what we're going to be doing. Ooh, that is well lit, isn't it? Nice. Okay. 
Uh, back to utilities, let's get some of those hot water pipes uh, run. So the hot water pipes will run from these guys. And I kind of want to go for the middle, but I want to make sure we maintain this left and right hand side thing. So the hot water is going to go from there into that point, and then from there into... Cancel that one. Let's see how far the hot water will go. I might not need two of these guys. Uh, but the hot water is going to run to the end there. And it will deal with the... Cancel. It's for radiators only. We don't need... It's not It's not for uh, showers. We don't have showers in these cells. These cells won't be big enough for showers. That's what the shower box is there for. Interesting. Uh, my design idea still fits. I just wasn't expecting it to fit like that. So, to there for the first radiator. Because it will go there, most likely. Uh, I might put it there. I don't know yet. And then the second radiator is going to run all the way down. I want it to be in the same place. So I'll just terminate you there. And then up here, I'll put one there. And down, we'll put one there. And we might not put radiators in all these places. But it will let us... Uh, pre-plan where the radiators will be. Also, we now have that guy there. So I need a big water pipe to you, and the water pipe for this side is going to come from over here, so to feed into that. Remember I said before about possibly having two pipes? Yeah. Well, that's the case it's going to be. Although I might move... Yeah. I'm going to move that. Um, just that. Put it over here. Because uh, we don't need it where it is, and I can get away with it at the bottom here instead. The bottom one will be actually better because it's less, it'll be less travelled area, rather than that to be the most busiest area. So there we go. Uh, oh, did you put the Ah, stop doing deployments. I want utilities. Did you put the pipe in already? You did. Damn it. We'll dismantle the water boiler and we'll dismantle that utility there. There we go. Right, uh, so this one here is the one that's going to be the one we're using. So I do need to supply a big pipe to that. So big pipe will do just that. That's all it needs to do. And power for that unit will be provided straight through that door. There we go. That should cover all of the power and what's needed for that. Uh, let's just dismantle that power there. And that power there. And then put the small water pipe back in. And... Get, oh, it will descend the pipe. I know it will. There we go. And you get that in. Excellent. And the final pieces will be power cables. And then there we go. Water is on. And hot water will come out there as soon as it can. Because they haven't run the hot water pipes yet for some reason. There we go. Hot water pipes are now online. Okay, so we only need one of those boilers. That's actually more than we expected. That's uh, less better than we expected. And we're going to do the one in the bottom corner because no one will care. Perfect. All right, now we can get onto the inside of the prison. It's the most important part of the prison, isn't it? So, walling, walling, walling. Let's get these cells all lined up and walled. Do this one here and then we can replicate it to there, can we? Uh, no, it's a mirror image. We have to do all this by hand. Maybe top to bottom can, mirror, can be mirrored, but the bottom to, to side to side can't be mirrored as easily. But that being said, we can mirror this entire set over to there, so that'll solve time anyway. Anyway, I need a wall there, and then a straight line there and there, with a T-junction going there, because that's where the toilets are going to be. Uh, there. And then there'll be straight line ones to there, and they'll have their appropriate T-junctions, like that. Perfect. Uh, let's, let's just do all these while they're doing that. We'll get back game to full speed so they can do it nice and... Yes, sir. Nice and quickly. I just thought to do my teaching in one place for a second. But I hadn't done. I did it right. did it right first time. Almost made a mistake though because I was going... Ah, no, it's right. There we go. And then you can go there. And then you can go there. Tea junctioning. There we go. And then this guy up here. You will be the tea, the tea junction and will be the second one in as always. On these designs. Da -da 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 there we go. These are fairly small, but they're going to be nothing but maximum security prisoners in here, so uh, really going to sort of bump up the uh, the, the level of uh, guards to prisoner ratio there. All right, so get you guys there. And we are almost done with the basic layout. Yep, there we go. Basic layout complete. Okay, basic layout is done. The cell block is basically ready. For us to start putting stuff in, we've got all of the uh, piping is in place, all the powers are in place, all of the um, well, the stuff's going to go in in the next episode, but uh, that's where we're going to have to leave it. So the question that still applies is, what kind of door do we want? So I'm just going to get into normal speed. Do we want the triple door, which looks like, now that all the walls are in place, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. Let me just get rid of the planning so it doesn't uh, look half as horrible as it already does. With the planning set there. Uh, no, don't cancel the planning. They're my walkways. We get rid of the doors. Doors. There we go. And these ones here. There we go. Okay. Go on. So, 
Doors. Are we going for the double door? With, so we have this little overlap be like a T-junction, like that. Are we going to go with the single door in the... Uh, this is the connector. So in the single door in the connector, the triple door connector, like that. Or the dual door into the common room. So doors to common room, double connector, single connector, or triple connector. I kind of like the triple connector a little bit. I'm a bit mm, about it. I might have to put a double down here, or a single just because of that. But uh, we, can, we can work around that, depending on what you guys want. Let me know what you think. Triple, double, single, or doors into the common room. But anyway, guys, until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.